The last episode left Steph and I at the Point of Air Lighthouse. As you can see from the map, it's just a short diversion of the main circular act route around the Alaman, and we just can't recommend it enough. What a beautiful, peaceful place. To be honest, we spent probably a little bit too much time there, so it was time to get back on the roads and see what else the island had to offer. And when I say roads, I mean tracks, because as we're finding out, you're never too far away from a track on the Isle of Man. The one thing that we hadn't planned, uh, it was just lucky coincidence, with it being late summer, the whole of the island moorlands were covered in in-bloom heather, sort of just a sea of purple everywhere you looked. I am a big fan of this track. So I guess we're quite in the north of the island. Still quite... Uh, do you know what? Sort of the middle, I think. I think oh. we're back at the middle. Back down again. I mean... <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, that is... That's a great track. Well, we finished off that track across the open high ground, and uh, wow. It was glorious. I think it's safe to say we're quickly becoming big fans of the Isle of Man. It was even signposted Little London. <laughs> After seeing the signpost to Little London, we were looking forward to seeing what that was about, but as it turns out, it was about two houses and a barn. We had driven out specifically to see Little London, and we sat. After the slightly tricky first couple of tracks before breakfast, certainly felt like the island was starting to reward us for our efforts now with some really gorgeous tracks. Hey, check out the sidecars. <laughs> They're very cool. That's a fairly intact castle, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool, though, actually. How pretty. Yeah, we like this place. What's, uh, what's it called? Can you remember? Peel. I mean, it I really does it. look lovely. I reckon I could spend a night in Peel if the news yeah. rose. Yeah, me too. Need to remember if we come back. For some reason the mic in the helmet started to distort on this section but uh, we were basically remarking on how stunning the scenery was. That heather just seemed to cover everything and although it doesn't quite come out in the camera, it was just a sea of purple. track any track yeah. oh I wonder if this is the bit that the act said was exhausting because it was just miles and miles of rats <laughs> I love this. I love the fact we were commenting on the heather as we came around the corner and now we're riding in it. Yeah, it's so awesome, isn't it? Tell everyone, go out and get it. You can have everything you want. Zero style points today. Snap. Sort 
a pleasant little <laughs> motor assisted <laughs> walk up the hill. <laughs> How's it going back there? It's, it's going, going pretty good. good. How's it going up there? Yeah, not too bad. If this isn't the track they talk about, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> I think you might be right. <laughs> I think if they took a team of like maybe five off-road experts and asked them to study a couple of points down there and to pick the very worst mine, I, I smashed we it. We both took it. I absolutely nailed it. Look at this. They're glorious, huh? Okay. Shall I crack on? Yeah, crack on. You can The act description wasn't wrong, it was uh, a little bit slow in places because of the ruts, but uh, it was a fantastic trail, and it just kept going on and on and on, it was amazing, through all of the heather and over the hills. But soon we were back on the road, and we were heading down to the most southern point of the island. Really unexpected bonus, as well as fantastic views and a lovely cafe with great coffee. There were seals, seals everywhere. And apparently the normal name is a colony of seals, but another collective name for seals is a bob. And I particularly like that one. So we saw a huge bob of seals. And I know exactly what I'm looking for. Time was pressing on, so it was back on our travels. I like this road. This is absolutely stunning. Oh yeah, that's quite pungent. Oh, that. <laughs> that's worse than your boots. Nothing is worse than my boots. <laughs> but that gets close. You'll always be my heart. So we're just on the, what we think is the start-finish straight of the TT. The start-finish straight of the TT race, what an epic way to round off an epic day on an epic island. That's it then. That's the day uh, three on the ACT website. What day is this step four for us? For us, day four, day four. yeah on the Isle of Man and uh, we thought we'd wrap it up here. What are your thoughts, Steph, on that one? Absolutely superb day. Cracking day, beautiful scenery, weather's been stunning, absolutely loved it. Yeah, Great I'm the same. For me, this is, I think this is probably my favourite, uh, favourite day of the act so far. It's, it's had everything, it's had uh, great tracks, awesome scenery, fantastic roads, urban sightseeing, seasides absolutely love it so if you enjoyed it do give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see the rest of it uh, and we will see you tomorrow morning on the way to the ferry back over to uh, to england again but for now bye from me bye from me <laughs> <laughs>